Hello everyone. Today I'd like to discuss the importance of certificate authority hierarchies and provide some examples of established patterns for creating CA hierarchies in AWS. With AWS Certificate Manager Private CA, you can create a hierarchy of certificate authorities with up to five levels. The root CA at the top of the hierarchy tree can have any number of branches. The root CA can have as many as four levels of subordinate CAs on each branch. You can also create multiple hierarchies, each with its own root. A well-designed CA hierarchy offers several benefits. Granular security controls appropriate to each CA, division of administrative tasks for better load balancing and security, use of CAs with limited revocable trust for daily operations, and validity periods and certificate path limits. Take a look at the example architecture on the screen. Each CA in the diagram is backed by an X.509 version 3 certificate with signing authority. This means that as CAs, they can sign other certificates subordinate to them. When a CA signs a lower level CA certificate, it confers limited revocable authority on the signed certificate. The root CA signs the intermediate CA certificate in the security account. This CA signs the certificates for the CAs in the application accounts that are used by PKI or public key infrastructure administrators who manage end entity certificates. The root CA anchors trust for all the subordinate CAs and the end entity certificates below it. Root and high level subordinate CAs are used only infrequently, usually to sign other CA certificates. Consequently, they are tightly controlled and audited to ensure a lower risk of compromise. At the lower levels of the hierarchy, security is less restrictive. This approach allows for the routine administrative tasks of issuing and revoking end entity certificates for users, computer hosts, and software services. For instance, issuing CAs that directly issue end entity certificates may grant permissions to application teams that allow them to issue and revoke certificates, manage elements of the certificate authority, and view detailed information about the CA. However, the root CA and intermediate CAs that are only used to sign other CAs in the hierarchy will need to restrict permissions so that only select PKI administrators can perform these functions as the impact of a root CA compromise can be very high, as it is the root of trust for your entire organization. If an issuing CA is compromised by a malicious entity, there is a significantly smaller blast radius. Only certificates issued by that specific CA will be compromised. Let's dive deeper into a few examples of how to create a certificate authority hierarchy in AWS using ACM private CA. In the first diagram, we can see that the root CA lives in its own account, which should be tightly secured with little to no access. This root CA will sign the intermediate CA hosted in an account created specifically for security purposes. Maybe your organization's security team manages this account. Lastly, we have application accounts that contain issuing CAs signed by the intermediate CA in the security account to issue end entity certificates for use in your applications. One important note, currently cross account CA signing cannot be accomplished using the AWS console. Customers must use the CLI or APIs to sign CAs that reside in another AWS account. One of the benefits of this approach is that ACM can handle automatic renewals of private certificates associated with integrated services, such as an application load balancer. This greatly reduces the operational overhead associated with certificate expiration and renewal. However, operating and issuing CA in each account can increase costs and overhead associated with managing the issuing CA in every account. Let's take a look at the second example architecture. In this case, the root CA still exists in its own secure AWS account, but now we are issuing certificates directly from the security account, which has an issuing CA. This issuing CA can be shared with the application accounts using Resource Access Manager. We will cover using Resource Access Manager to share CAs in a separate video. This approach will incur less cost and operational burden than the first example, but CAs shared with RAM have a limited set of certificate templates available to them, so this model may not work for all use cases. Now let's examine the final example in this video. This architecture is very similar to the previous example, but utilizes an offline root CA hosted in the customer's on-prem data center. In this case, the root CA on-prem was used to cryptographically sign the CA certificate associated with the issuing CA we see hosted in the AWS security account. This issuing CA could be shared with application accounts using Resource Access Manager, or those accounts could have their own CAs, which are signed by the offline root CA or another CA in the same certificate hierarchy. A benefit of this approach is that while you're issuing end entity certificates to users and devices using the issuing CA hosted in AWS, the top of your certificate hierarchy or your root CA 
is kept offline in your customer data center so that you're in full control of this root CA. Some customers feel more comfortable keeping their root CA offline hosted in their own data center on-prem. In this video, we briefly discuss why CA hierarchies are important, as well as analyzed a few different options for designing your certificate hierarchy with respect to cost and ease of management. Thanks for your time, and please consult the ACM Private CA documentation for more information on CA hierarchies.